Now let's head out to Belinda with more on those storms and a look at storms on the way. Belle? Well, Julie, that area and Randy, that area was under a tornado watch. There were warnings in the region and uh, that that cell that created that uh, storm was pretty impressive. Tonight, we're looking at another big batch of storms in Iowa that's heading toward southern and central Minnesota and eventually into Wisconsin. So I want to let you know that it's going to be another loud evening with the potential for flooding rains, lightning, thunder and also some hail. We have a storm that's just moving from Wabasha County into Wisconsin. We have thunderstorm warnings out for that that uh, cell in particular for hail. So that's what's going on at present. And as we mentioned earlier, potentially there were a numerous touchdowns, possibly four. The Weather Service will be out tomorrow to let you know what happened. But this is exactly what we're talking about for where the storm was and where the tornado touched down across the region. Look at this. Look at the hail reports um, that happened this evening and through the afternoon. Large hail, in fact, tennis ball size hail in many locations. And we have numerous pictures that are coming in from you. This is Red Wing at around 755. There is the tornado that fell in that came down in Wisconsin. Look at how large this hail is. It was quite a storm system that produced this large hail. And then again, those uh, numerous tornado touchdowns that we'll have to confirm tomorrow. We'll talk about what should happen overnight and through the weekend coming up in just a couple of minutes. All right. Thank you, Bill. Sven will follow tomorrow morning with uh, more on the storms on sunrise starting at 430. We'll also have crews at the side of that damage in western Wisconsin. So follow our coverage on the Care 11 Facebook page. In other news tonight.